Oh, Treoris, isn't this the life? A nice warm day, a beautiful sea view, and two great friends to hang out with. I just hope that you don't change into your mankini again. Ugh, memories. <gasps> Do you know what would make this better? A drink. Let's make pina coladas, everyone. We're going to make one for each of us. It'll make the perfect compliment to this beautiful chicken that I've made. Don't you think, Grim? I think he does. I think he was after my chicken earlier, but um, anyway. We're going to need some bamboo. We're going to need some pineapples. And we're also going to need to try and reach those coconuts up there. It could be a tricky task, but let's go and grab some. I'm really excited now. Oh, my God. Why didn't I think of making drinks before? It's the perfect compliment to this amazing situation. Let's chop all this down. We need all this bamboo to make mugs with because, you know, we didn't think of about this we didn't bring mugs with us but we oh god we got too much too much to carry right now um and we're also going to need the pineapples that are over here to make these beautiful drinks come on let's go oh god my mouth is watering like mad let's go over the waves chop up this oh yeah beautiful what did we grab what did we grab we've got some pineapple chunks and we also need a couple more as well let's chop these down with our sword beautiful there's the pineapple and now we need to grab some coconuts how are we gonna grab these i have no idea let me just uh um, I'm just gonna have to try and climb this tree here. Let me grab some sand to help me out with this. I don't know. I, I didn't think this through really, did I? I should have just bought drinks with me, pre-made them. You know, you know how it is, but I just got the taste of a pina colada in my mouth and I was like, you know what? We need to do this. Here we go. There's a coconut. Did I grab it? I grabbed it. Right, we've got the ingredients for this. We first need to make a couple of mugs. So let's make one for all of us. Because otherwise, it's just not going to be fair, is it? So one, two, three. Grim, you're going to have to learn how to use a cup. And then we need to make our pina colada. So let's get the, the pineapple in the middle here and the coconut on top. Shake it all up and we've got a pina colada. Good job. Um, I'm going to test this out quickly just to see that I've made it correctly. Ah, yes. That's exactly what I needed. Look at me. I look amazing with my pina colada in my hand. Let's take a swift drink of this bad boy and see what happens. Oh, 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 God. I don't think I made it right. Oh, it makes me feel ill. It makes me feel really ill. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What, what the hell? I've got this crazy feeling in my stomach, and now I just feel awful. Um, Troyoris? Grim? Where the hell am I? everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today we're going to be exploring the incredibly beautiful Tropicraft mod. Now as you can see this mod adds in tons of amazing scenery as well as a whole new village type, foods, decorations, weapons and a whole ton more. So let's get straight to it. Look how beautiful this is. We've arrived here after drinking that pina colada on the beach. The taste is still in my mouth. It feels it still feels beautiful, and um, I think I need to jump back in this to get back, but I'm going to enjoy this dream for as long as it happens. Maybe I, I fell asleep on the beach or something, but anyway, let's carry on for this. Um, we've got these amazing rainforest biome that we're in at the moment. We've got so much decoration, so much bamboo, and new flowers and crazy stuff. We've got fruits, we've got mobs, so many things, and I've got a little bit of something set up over here so that we can go through most of the features. Now, I'm not going to go through every single feature because the mod is absolutely huge it's been in development i'm pretty sure for three years since 2011 and that is crazy so um let's get to looking at some of the stuff in this mod we're gonna start off with some decorations and some ores so the first thing is a little bit of a thatch bundle here and to craft this you just need some sugar canes in a crafting table just like this just four of them and it'll make a thatch bundle and it's really nice for building houses out of as you can see those houses in the background there which we'll get to in a second by the way um are built out of thatch for the roofs and you can make stairs and slabs as well which look really really nice and then we move on to the palm planks which are obviously made out of these palm woods very nice looking woods and stuff to build your houses out of in here you can make your perfect beach retreat it looks so nice just the water changing color to a light kind of um a light blue rather than a dark blue of minecraft just makes it look amazing look at that so beautiful but anyway we'll stop admiring the view and move on to some ores and the first one we have is e oh my god i can't even say that udialite ore we also have zircon ore and we have azurite ore so the blue one is azurite the red one is zircon and the pink one is udalite i'm gonna say udalite because it's a little bit easier to say so we've got um very nice blocks at the back as well which you can make out of each of the ores and they look very very nice and they're all used for different weapons different recipes and we'll find out why and what for in a second then we move on to zirconium which i 
I think is a form of smelted zircon. I think you add something to the zircon that you get out of this ore to make it into a beautiful pink color. Very nice for building. And then we've also got some more logs. We've got mahogany and palm wood as well, which is made from, from these trees when you mine them down. So let's move on to some more things. The first thing actually is this bamboo chest, which you can craft by just taking some bamboo, which is just over here. All you do, as you saw at the beginning, is you just chop it down just like sugarcane and you'll get quite a lot from it. And you can grow it just the same sugarcane as well, but you grow it on grass rather than sand, which is very cool. Um, and the bamboo chests look very, very nice. I like them. I like them a lot. <laughs> so let's have a look what's in here. We've got some tools, as I um, mentioned earlier with the udalite and the azurite. We've got um, a shovel, a pickaxe, and a hoe and an axe for each one. So we've got zircon and udalite as well. And then we've also got some trees, which I wanted to have a look at. I won't have a look at the palm tree because we've already kind of seen that, but I will take these and we'll we're gonna grow some trees, have some fun with these trees. So let's move over here. I think one of them's here actually. This is um, an orange tree. So you've got different trees which allow you to get different foods. So let's try this one first. This is the lemon tree. Let's um, spruce that up and look how amazing that looks. You just mine these and I'm pretty sure that you'll get lemons from them. Then we've got a mahogany tree. I'm, I have a feeling this one is gonna be pretty big. So let's um, do this. Yep, that is, that is pretty big. <laughs> um, wow, that is the mahogany tree which is part of the rainforest biome. We also have the grapefruit tree. Let's just try this over here and get you different foods. Get you a nice grapefruit. Very, very nice. It's got kind of like bigger um, peach-shaped grapefruits on there. What else have we got? We've got an orange tree, which we've already seen, but I'll do that anyway. Very, very nice. And we've also got the lime trees. So you've got different things to make different drinks and different foods and stuff. That one's kind of hard to spot. But if you have a closer look, then you can see the light green limes on there. Right then, those are all the trees that you can get. I think you can get one more type of tree, but that's a secret tree, which you'll have to find for yourself. And we'll move on to something that's really cool. We're just going to go through a couple of interesting items rather than helpful ones at the moment. Well, I guess it is actually really helpful. It's called the sifter. And to craft this, you're going to need oak wood planks of any variety. You can have jungle birch any type you like and then a glass pane in the middle and you'll get this beautiful sifter now what this does is very clever is you put it down and then right click it with one piece of sand and the sand will go inside it like this start spinning around like crazy look at that oh my god he's going nuts and then if you wait for a little bit it's like 30 seconds to a minute a random selection of items will pop out they'll be either useful or decorative I'm not sure the rarest item that you can get out of this but I have seen some really cool stuff come out so let's wait for this bad boy to um, spring us some amazing items items. <laughs> And there we go. Oh my goodness, what did it give me? It gave me some shells, it gave me a frox conch, it gave me a solonox shell, and it also gives you purified sand, so you can't just keep repeating this over and over again. You need to get your sand back. This sand doesn't look anything different than normal sand. It might be a little bit of a lighter shade, actually, and kind of looks a little bit smoother, so you might want to use it for building or something. Let me just kind of show you them side by side. This is purified, a little bit lighter than normal sand, and you can just keep doing this over and over again with the sand that you collect, and there's plenty around the whole place. So imagine all this. You can get loads of beautiful shells which you can use to decorate your stuff. Look at that. Oh, that's, oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's so nice. Look at that. <laughs> Make beautiful finishing touches to your houses. Right then, let's put all this back. And the other thing that you can see in here is an Encyclopedia Tropica, which is kind of like a guide to this whole land and gives you... It, it sounds weird, but it sounds like a Pokedex, so that when you've seen something, it will give you all the amazing information on it. And to craft it, you just need one book and bamboo all the way around the outside. And then you simply right-click it, and you'll get this. And then you click it, and it'll give you all of this stuff. So we've already crafted a bamboo mug, so it'll tell you kind of like the background story of it. So you'll see why I thought of it as kind of like a Pokedex. You get what I mean now. You get what I mean. And it shows you all the crafting recipes you can use it with. And we've got the bamboo chest, and then we've got the crafting recipes for that, which is really cool. And the different variants of it as well, which is very nice. It's kind of like a not enough items in a book just for Tropicraft. What did this give me? Oh, it gave me, what's this new shell? It gave me a pab shell. Oh, very nice. You can make like a whole wall of shells and it'll look really pretty and nice. Right then, let's move on to some hardcore stuff. We've got blow darts up next, which is the main weapon of this brand new dimension. <laughs> And you craft them in a very unique way. You're actually going to need a cure rare bowl to start off with. And it's actually, <laughs> it sounds weird, but it's made of chunk of head. And you get these from those um, things we've seen around. They're Easter Island heads. We'll see them later on. And you get them from mining those with a pickaxe. But we'll get to them later on. They're in the mob section. And what you need is one of those. So you need three chunk of heads in a normal bowl shape just like this. You're also going to need some sticks and some flowers as well. So what you need to do is put the cure 
your air bowl down just like this and then right click it with a flower and then also a stick as well and they should go in there and make a cure let's have a look here there's um yeah there's something going on down here look there's there's the flower in there is it working how long does it take how long do you take oh i think you have to keep on spinning it around let's keep on spinning it here we go, here we go. poke it with a stick poke it with a stick poke it with a stick Poke it with the stick. It's going round. Yes, it made. It made. That looks amazing. So you don't actually use up your stick. You just kind of grind it up. And I have got a weakness cure from that. So let's try another one. We've got a can of flower. Can we combine these as well? Um, I don't know if we can. Oh, we can. And put a pink one and a blue one in and see what this one gives us. So it's kind of like different recipes. Then you mash them up and smash them up. Oh, God. This is amazing. Let's mash them all up with the stick. Come on. Come on. There we go. What did we get? We got another weakness cure. So it's lots of different ways to do it and to get different recipes and stuff like that. But you need them to craft the different blowguns and the different darts. So the different cures you can get are paralysis, Poison, Hunger, Weakness, which is the one we got already, Slow Movement, Harm, and Confusion, and they all give the kind of appropriate Minecraft effects. So Confusion will obviously be Nausea, and then you've got the Poison Dart, which is Poison, etc, etc. And you've also got the Blowguns of exactly the same type as well. So to shoot a Dart of Paralysis, you're going to need a Blowgun of Paralysis. And to craft these, you get um, two Bamboo Sticks, which are made out of just two Bamboo Shoots, just like this. And then you also need the Certain Cure that you made. So to make the Weakness one that we've got, we just get the weakness cure and two bamboo sticks to make the blowgun and then to make the dart you're just going to need one iron ingot one feather and one weakness cure to make four darts of weakness so let's let's try firing one of these now that we've made it um let's get um the dart of weakness and fire this bad boy uh just pull it back pull it back fire oh they have quite a good shot look at that is there anything we can shoot around here there's usually monkeys and stuff we can shoot that's pretty aggressive actually i can't believe i just said that but um, let's just fire it at the wall here and there you go it's got a very straight shot look at that goes all the way across and you can poison weakness give whatever debuff you like to your enemies it's a very handy weapon and a very cool one as well a little bit hard to craft at first but when you get used to all the recipes and stuff you'll be making them in no time right then onto some more traditional weapons and tools now and we start off with the water wand which is actually crafted by taking an azurite which is um from over there and two gold to make this and this will actually clear out water it sounds like it would summon water but for some reason it clears it just like this come on clear the, cl clear the water clear the water it's starting to do it but i think it's because i'm in creative mode and stuff but you can actually clear certain areas of water which is really cool there you go look at that Look at that, it's doing it, it's doing it, it's it's kind of doing it. I don't think it does it permanently. I think it helps you to move through large large quantities of water while you are um while you're drowning and stuff. Oh my god, these are cute. We can use the poison dart on this. Let's use the the, the dart of hunger on it. Why did I choose that one? But anyway, you can see this. Oh my god, it's the iguana. You're dead. You're dead, buddy. Oh no, it's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt me. Don't do it. Don't do it, Iguana. No, it didn't hurt him. Why didn't it hurt him? Get away from me. No, no. Oh my goodness, why have I got 111 darts now? This is this is glitched out a little bit. Let's leave the iguana alone and carry on with, with our little thing we were doing. So we're going to move on to the fishing net now. And the way this works, first off crafting three bamboo and three string. And the way this works is you need one bucket of water. And this is actually a bucket of tropics water. And that's because the water is lighter than normal Minecraft water. And then... Then you need to find a fish, because there's lots of different fish in this um, dimension. And I think we might have to move on to it, if I can see any around here. We might have to move on to this when we get to the mob section. And all you need to do is right-click the fish that you want to catch with a bucket of water in your inventory, and it will change to that fish. Oh, God, it's raining. No, not in the tropics. Why? Look at these birds flying away. Oh, my God, it feels so real. And these guys will get on to later as well. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with those. Why must it rain? Let's retreat inside until it gets nicer again. God damn it. Ah, there we go. It's turned all nice again. That's what we like to see. I just had to kind of retreat inside for a little bit. But anyway, these are the monkeys I was looking for last time. Look at them. They're cute. Um, but anyway, we'll get to those in a bit. Right, what else have we got? We'll get to the fishing net later. So I'll just keep this here just to remind myself. And um, what else do we have? We have daggers. We have coconut grenades. We have taming staffs, fire staffs, swords, and spears. Now, the two I'm going to go over are the taming staff and the fire staff. Because the coconut grenade sounds awesome, and it is, but it doesn't quite work work just yet um it's a brand new feature of this mod and doesn't quite work but we've got the taming staff now where is the monkey over here you can actually kind of ride any mob in this mod and in normal minecraft as well with this wand and i think you can't craft it you just have to find it in chests and stuff but um there we go oh god 
Oh no, I didn't mean to do that to you, monkey. I'm so sorry. Let me try this again. It's not working on the monkey, but you kind of fire a gauge out and then you can ride stuff. Let me just grab a pig just to see if it will do it um, like that. Because we know we can ride a pig anyway. It's, this is a new feature, I think, so I'm not sure if it works perfectly. But there, <laughs> there you go. You do fire out the cage and apparently you'll be able to ride it afterwards. But um, it doesn't work just yet. So we're going to have to use the fire stuff, aren't we? There we go. Boom! That one works perfectly. It fires out netherrack and sets fire to our little friend and gives us some beautiful pork. Sorry, monkey. Sorry. Oh, God, I feel so bad. Oh, no, I feel bad. Let's walk away before his friends attack me. But, um, yeah, the taming stuff does sound really cool, and hopefully it will work in a future version of the mod. Right then, this is the bit I am really looking forward to, which is the mobs. Look how many there are. There are so many, and we better get started on them. So let me just put um, this stuff back up here so that we've got enough room for all these mobs. We're going to start off with some frogs and some fish as well. So here we go. Let's start with the red frog spawn. Let's spawn this guy in. Here's, here's the red frog. He's jumping around like he's happy as any thing it looks a bit strange i'm not gonna lie oh wait his, his eyes are here it's okay his eyes are like there and then his back legs are there and we've got different colors of these I'm not sure what happens if you kill them let's try it out <laughs> um it could be bad we might get some some nasty potion effects yep he's gonna hurt me he's gonna hurt me stay back stay back what is that that is a frog leg and i'm pretty sure you can cook them and eat them beautiful <laughs> nice and tasty frog legs right then let's move on to some of these fish and as you can see they are in buckets because that's the icon that appears when you capture them and that's what we're going to do now so let's release this um queen angel fish into the water and there it is oh god no get get in the water get in the water i don't want you to drown i don't want you to drown there you go oh my god that was close right then let's try and catch this bad boy Ugh. There we go. We caught it. Queen Angelfish. Then we can just release it again. And look how nice that looks. That's a really cool model. I like how they flop as well. That's really cool. Let's release these onto the ground just so you know what they look like. We've got the, oh my god, Geophagus Surinament. Oh my god. Let's just see what it looks like. It's this fish. That's the fish that I was trying to talk to you about. Then we've got the Butterfly Fish, which looks very nice. And the Clownfish, which I'm sure you'll all know as Nemo. Look how cute this is. The, the textures are really cool, actually. Go on. Be free. Into the water, my friends. My friends? My friends? Water. 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 Oh, no. One of them died. Quick. Quick. You're, di you're drowning. Oh, my God. I managed to save him. I managed to save him with one health. So be very careful of those. You might drown them accidentally. So there's loads of different fish in this mod. I'm also going to see... Oh, no. Oh, no. What have we done? What have we done? I've angered the villagers by unleashing a frog. Die, frog. Leave him alone. Oh, my God. We'll get to these guys in a bit. Oh, no. This frog as well. Jeez, I didn't know the frogs were that aggressive. Watch out for those guys, my goodness. All right, let's move on to some more mobs, and we're going to start with the turtle. We've also got the iguana, starfish, sea urchin, um, some marlin, tropical fish, ash and ash, and let's try these out. I don't think the ash and ash... Oh, it is. Oh, God. I forgot these guys. These guys, these guys are nasty. These guys are like really tribal warriors and you can pick up their shields and stuff, which is really cool um, to make other stuff. But those are like the bad tribe of this dimension. We'll get to see those later when it turns to night. But um, you saw them a bit prematurely there. Then we got the turtle egg. Um, is it, is this going to, what's going to happen to it? I want it to hatch. Let's leave that there for a bit and see if it hatches. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. Very, very nice. Right, then let's go to tropical fish as well. Um, did you spawn any tropical fish? Oh, God, something's dying. Oh, God, what did I do? What did I do? The tropical fish I've just killed. Where are they spawning? That's the sound of them drowning. Let's move on to marlin. Oh, my God, look at this. It's like a swordfish. Beautiful. Wow. So I think the tropical fish will just spawn random fish that we've already looked at. And then obviously the marlin will spawn in this beautiful creature. Very nice. We've then got the sea urchin. Oh my god, the spiky ball. We don't want to touch that. It might poison us. We've got the starfish. Look at that. Very nice. And then we've also got the iguana, which we've already seen. These mobs are very cool. Very cool indeed. Are you still picking fights over here? What, what's all this? What's all this stuff? Jeez making a mess up in here. Right then, we're getting to the crazy ones now. We've got a Man of War, which is a massive, massive um, jellyfish, I think, in real life. So let's um, grab all these. We've got just enough room for them all. So let's try this jellyfish. I'm not sure how we're going to spawn this in without killing it, but we might want to because it could be an absolute beast. Let's spawn it in the water here. Oh, I thought it was going to be massive. I guess that's pretty big for a jellyfish, but these guys in real life are pretty big and poisonous 
as well. So um, you probably don't want to go near those in survival mode. We've also got a tropis skelly, which is one of these bad boys. And these are like the normal skeletons, but in the Tropicraft version. So get out of here before you um, upset those villagers over there. We've also got a spotted eagle ray, which sounds really nice. Let's put this guy in here. Oh, yeah, that is really nice. Nice and spotted eagle ray. Let's just be careful of these ones because... Oh, no, I think in the damage indicators mod on the top left there, it says it's peaceful. So that's okay. Very nice. We've also got the uh, monkey. Look at this guy. These guys are so cute. Look at them. Ah, oh, you can't tame any of these, unfortunately. But if you could, the monkeys would be the best. We've then got an eye of head, which is what I was getting to um, before, which is spawning in an Easter Island head. And these will spawn randomly in the world, and you just need to mine them with a pickaxe, and you'll get that little chunk of head we were talking about earlier. We've also got a fail gull, which is just like a seagull with strange, strange, very strange wings. Off you go, my pretties. Goodbye, goodbye. And then we've got the final one, which is the Tropic Reaper, which looks... Absolutely amazing. Look at that hat he's wearing, and I'm pretty sure these will explode, but in a different fashion. Go on, explode. Oh my god, it explodes into flowers. Flowers and coconut grenades. How pretty and how amazing is that? <laughs> oh my god, the best creeper I've ever seen. Right then, I think that's all the mobs. Is that all the mobs? Let's have a quick look. And then we've got some decoration things left. Yep, those are all the mobs. And then we've got some decoration things. We've got some of these which we've already seen. We've got some deck chairs and some umbrellas which are just crafted with um, wool and bamboo and stuff which looks very nice. And these are really cool for just putting outside your house. You can sit on these and just chill underneath the sun while still staying protected from sunburn. And you can also craft these cocktails by using different recipes as we did with the pina colada. Very cool. And now for the last thing of this mod, we're going to go over and check out these villagers over here so let me just get rid actually we should be fine and um, let's just go over here and these will spawn randomly throughout your um, new dimension and they have fully fledging really complex AI we've got two different versions we've got the ones in red shorts which are hunters we've got the ones in blue shorts which are fishermen how you doing Ekewaka? how you doing you fishing good there son um, these were actually fish just randomly and they collect stuff in their own little chest in here so this guy's caught nice 13 raw fish already I'm taking that, buddy, because I'm going to need it in a second. And then there's already um, a third type as well. This guy's caught 16. He's good going. Good going. So these guys will fish, and then the guys in the red shorts will attack anything that will come at night. So you've got the um, the tropis skellies, and you've got those little tribe men that we looked at earlier. And the final thing we're going to look at is the one in the orange shorts. This guy is called Ekiwaka as well. He's got 80 health, but he is a tradesman. So when you walk into his little shop here, you will see that he's got a little trade plate, which you can trade with him. So you can and sell stuff you can buy stuff and it's kind of like an easier way to make money so if you do a lot of fishing like i've done i, I honestly did claim these fish for myself he will pay you one credit for one fish so if we right click the um this man with the thing you want to sell it will disappear from your inventory and now you will get 13 credits to buy what you like so if you right click you can go through all of this we've got fresh marlin meat so we've got stuff that we can eat um we've got chest plates which cost 15 we've got leggings which cost 10 helmets boots um, coconut grenades, leaf balls, blow guns, darts, fishing nets, cocktails, snorkels, flippers, um, a music disc if that's what you're into. Um, what else we got? And I think that's it. So if you want to buy something, let me just switch into game mode zero quickly just in case um, I break it with my creative powers. And say I want to buy these leggings, you just left click on it and then it will say confirm trade. Left click again, it will take away your credits and then you'll get your scale leggings to put on and look amazing. Now I think a bug with this mod so far, it will take all of your credits so be very careful. Just put in what you want to buy at the moment. And then I can also sell these back to him. So if I um, right click on him with this, I will get 10 credits back to my name. Very, very nice it's a little bit buggy at the moment but a really cool feature that i've never seen before go on go on do that what did, where did i get that from i don't know where i got that from but i'm gonna keep it anyway so the final thing i want to do before we say goodbye from this amazing dimension i really enjoy this mod it looks really pretty and there's so much to discover even more than i've gone over today even though it's been it's been quite a long time i've been talking about this but um let's go into time set um the night time and we'll see what comes out at night and we'll see these villagers jump into action so come at me Come at me, nasties. I want you to spawn. I might have to go over here for a second for them to spawn. And then we'll see the, the, the villagers jump into action and start fighting for their right to party and fish and all that good stuff. So where is... Oh, they're going over there. Is there anything over here? Is there anything spawned? Anything spawned? What's the panic about, bros? What's the panic about? What's the panic? 
the the little tribesmen will come um, and spawn at night as well. So let's let's keep on the eye out for these guys, and and I'll come back when we've seen some. And well, then, as you can see over here, here are some tropicelli. Oh my god! Ow! Ow! I, I apologize for saying your name wrong. These are tropicelli tribesmen. Let's lead them over to here and get some help from my um from my friends over here. Hopefully they're my friends. Look, come on, help me! Help me! There's tropicelli attacking me, sir. Um, Kai, please don't hide behind the tree. Please help me. Please help me, Kai. Um, here he goes. Let's, let's see him burst into action. Go on. Go on, Kai. Do it. I'll help you out. There we go. Look, he's punching them like mad. He's throwing leaves at them. I think their chosen weapon is leaf balls. So you can throw those and we could buy them from the tradesman earlier. Let's help these guys out from the skellies. And I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Go on. Go on, do it. Yes, we've done it. That's beautiful. So those will spawn over time. We've also got those crazy tribesmen we saw earlier. And there's lots of different variants of those. But I'll leave you to explore that for yourself. This mod is huge. This mod is amazing. And that is pretty much what I'm going to show you today. So if you want to see this mod for yourself, it is in 1.6.4 at the moment. Now, please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. And also, if you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated. To. And if we can get to 20,000 likes for this amazing mod, then that would be amazing. Thanks again for watching, everyone. I'm going to chill out with my friend Kai here. He saved my life. I owe my life to you, buddy. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.